What's up, everybody? What's up, what's up? It's your boy, Joni, y'all. And I'm back, y'all, with a new video. And I just want to put out the truth, you know, me and my partner, you know, and start reading about, you know, it's about um, God hated Esau. Mm -hmm. And we talk about some a lot of stuff y'all never heard, you know, because, you know, preachers never give y'all no truth. So, um, yeah, me and my, uh, you know, me and my partner, you know, his name is um, James, you know what I'm saying? He's a true man of God. So, um, we start talking about all type of stuff. So, um, you know, here it goes. Well, we could start off right here. Um, they say the preachers preach about that um, God loves everybody. Yeah. But we're going to see right here that God don't love everybody. The same. Yeah, the same. And it's somebody that's here that's became a wicked branch upon all the people, destroying all the people, making them spoiled and wicked themselves. Mm. Just by keeping company with these people and picking up these people's traditions and these people's religions. Right. Um, they're, they're, they're have, they have snuck their demonic traditions in two religions. Now we up under this Christian religion thing, but we are praising their pagan God on Sunday. Yeah. When the Sabbath day was Saturday. Mm -hmm. um, but as, as I'm going to start off reading right here is in Malachi chapter 1. You see it? An oracle, the word of the Lord to Israel through Malachi. He said, I have loved you says the Lord. But you ask, how have you loved us? But not Esau, Jacob's brother? The Lord says, yet I have loved Jacob, but Esau I have hated. And I have turned his mountains into a wasteland and left his inheritance to the jackals. Edom may say, though we have been crushed, we will rebuild the ruins. But this is what the Lord Almighty said. They may build, but I will demolish. They will be called the wicked land and people and always under the wrath of the Lord. You will see it with your own eyes and say, great is the Lord, even beyond the borders of Israel. Right. So we see that um, he loved somebody, Jacob, the 12 tribes of Israel, but he hated Esau. Right. And all of Esau inherited right. have been thrown to the jackals. So we're going to leave Malachi and we're going to learn a little bit about Esau a little bit more. Right. Because right. we have to point out and unveil the devil. That's right. In the last days, Satan shall be unveiled. Unveiled, yeah. Okay, so we're going to go skip over to Hebrew mm -hmm. 12. See? Hebrew Chapter 12, verse 15. We're going to start off at verse 15. All right. Okay, 12, okay. Okay. Instead of 15, let's go up to 14. Okay. Make every effort to live in peace with all men. And to obey and be holy. Without holiness, no one will see the Lord. Eh? Sure. See to it that no one misses the grace of God. And that no bitter root grows up to be caused trouble and defile it many. We're going to start right there for a second. Okay. He said, we're going to see through, see to it that no one messes, misses the grace and no bitter root grows up to defile many. Mm -hmm. But we see Esau. Yeah. He hated Esau. Now let's return. See that no one is sexually immortal mm. or is godless like Esau. Mm. So... We're going to find out who Esau is. Esau is a sexually immortal man. Eh? He sure does. 
and um, he's godless, and God hates him. That's right. God hates him so much. So the promises is not for Esau, and Esau know that God's promises is not for him, but only for the children of Israel and the twelve lost tribe of Hebrew. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. We're going to start over. See that no one, we're going to start over at 16. See that no one is sexual immortal or godless like Esau, who for a single meal sold his inheritance rights as the oldest son. Afterwards, as you know, when he wanted his inheritance, this blessing, he was rejected. He could bring about no change of his mind though he sought the blessing with tears. Mm. You have not come to the mountains that can be touched and that is burning with fire to darkness, gloom, and storm. So he cannot come to Mount Sinai. He cannot, he cannot get his blessings. He cannot get his inheritance. He cannot seek salvation even though he seeks it with tears, but he shall not because he sold his birthright. That's right. So we got this man right here that's hating on the one who has his birthright. Right, right, right. Okay. Now we're going to go from Hebrew to Matthews 15 and 24. Okay? Mm -hmm. 15, 24. Matthews 15 and 24. All right, all right. Matthew 15 and 24. I want to explain this the right way. Because um, everyone thinks that um, the people of Khazarians are the Hebrew Israelites and they are the children of Israel because they live in Israel right now. But they're not. They are the Khazarians and they are not the chosen people of God. Hmm. The chosen people of God is still in bondage hmm. and slavery in America up under the hand of Esau. Okay. We're going to see right here it says chapter Matthew 15 21 through 27. <coughs> okay. 21. Leaving that place, Jesus withdrew to the region of Tyre and Sidon and Canaanite woman. This is a Canaanite woman. From the Venice came to him crying out, Lord of Lord, son of David. She's calling Jesus the son of David. Have mercy on me. My daughter is suffering terribly from demon possession. Hmm. So you have this Canaanite woman. She's not of Israel. This Canaanite woman of Sidon and Tyre. She cries out to Jesus, the son of David, and says, Heal my daughter, for she has demons in her. Jesus did not answer. So no. Chapter 23, it says, no, verse 23, it says, Jesus did not answer a word. So his disciples came to him and urged him, send her away. She keeps cry crying out after us. He answered, I was sent only to the lost sheep, sheep. of Israel. Of Israel, you heard that, right? So he wasn't... um coming for the Canaanite woman or Salem or, or, or Sudan or the Gentiles or Esau and heritage or he so loved the world. No, he did not come. He only came for the lost oh, sheep, sheep of Israel. Do you understand what he's talking about, people? The lost sheep of Israel he only came for. The woman came and knelt before him. Lord, help me, she said. Lord, help me. She's begging Jesus. This is a sinful woman. She have a soul, a life. 
She she's human, like the church saying everybody is the same. God loves everybody. We all of His creation. This is a creation that's crying out and saying, "Lord, help me, help me." Jesus replied and said, "It is not right to take the children's bread and toss it to the dogs." So everyone, Jesus didn't come for everyone, you see? He said, everyone's Jesus creation, yeah. God's Yahweh creation, but Jesus didn't create everybody. That's right. That's God right. created everybody. That's right. Not not, not Jesus. Not Christ. Do you understand that? Jesus said, don't pray to me, pray to the God who sent me. That's right. That's okay. Right. It said, do not, okay, it said, then Jesus answered. He said, Yes, Lord, she said, but even the dogs eat of the crumbs that fell from the master's table. Through her faith, she was healed. Okay, we're going to leave from Matthews, and we're going to go to John 3.16. Here. John 3.16. Whosoever believe in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Okay. We already know that one. But it wasn't talking about everybody. That's right. It was only talking about the world of the Hebrews, Israelites. In Hebrew 1 and 2, we got Romans 9, 13, Isaiah 45 and 17. Amen. Let's go to Isaiah 45 and 17. So you got a Bible? Get your Bible. Get your Bible or get a tablet or something. I'll write this down. Isaiah 45 mm -hmm. and 17. That's right. Amen. And always believe and understand that the laws of Moses must be followed. Obedience is better than sacrifice. See? That's right. Obedience is better than sacrifice. Okay, Isaiah 45 17. Okay. Well, my Bible is decoded in another way. Let's, um, give me one second. Let me look up the right scripture because my Bible is decoded wrong. Okay. Um, we're going to pull up Isaiah 45 and 17. 45 verse 17, it reads, in my new version Bible, it says, but Israel will be saved by the Lord with an everlasting salvation. Mm -hmm. You will never be put to shame or disgrace." To the ages everlasting. So he was talking about Israel. Israel only. And the last 12 of Israel. Um, hold on. But on my other Bible. It says. The world of Israel. But Israel will be saved by the Lord. With everlasting salvation. And the world of Israel, the, the, okay, you will never be put to shame or disgrace. Okay, here it goes right here. All right, all right. All right, all right. Profound eternity, humanity. James Bible, it says, chapter, Isaiah chapter 45, verse 17 says, But Israel shall be saved in the Lord with an everlasting salvation, ye shall not be ashamed nor confounded world within without end. <coughs> no confounded world without end. So he's talking about, this is the world he's talking about in John 3.16. So he shall love the world. And say the world of Israel without end. That's right. But we read it one more time. Ye shall not be ashamed nor confounded world without end. That means you shall have eternity. 
The world shall be without end. You shall not be confounded. World without end, that's internal life. Right, right. Of John 3.16. He was quoting John 3.16 in Isaiah 45 and 17 in the King James Version. That's right. So Esau, he's a nation of hatred, liars, and devils. You have to hand him back over his teaching, his Christianity. Give it back. That's right. Give him his religion. Because only way you're going to grab your inheritance if you all grab the obedience of your father's commandments. Hmm. And do not break these commandments by Christianity traditions. That's right. That's right. You heard that, right? So. Amen. That was all I had about that at the time, unless my brother had a little bit more he wanted to read, you know. Mm -hmm. But that's that's about it. But um, you know, it's it's obedience. Obedience is better than sacrifice. You see, just like when Paul and Ox Ox, they say Paul was going around teaching that you didn't have to keep the laws of Moses. So they wouldn't look for Paul to stone him and take him to court to beat him up real bad, hurt him real bad, probably kill him. Yeah. But when they found Paul, Paul was, was cleansing himself and showing others how to cleanse themselves mm -hmm. by obeying the law of Moses. Thou shalt not let a razor touch your head. Thou shalt eat holy. Keep the Sabbath day holy. That's right. You know? Yeah. He was, oh, he was obeying these commandments. So when he got to court, he said, these things I did not do that they claim I did. And he had witnesses to prove that he was practicing the law of Moses. Right, right. So they was going to hold him accountable for the things that the church is doing today. Yeah. Teaching that you don't have to keep the law of Moses because Christ died for your sins. Christ came to fulfill the law, not to do away with the law. That's right. You have to live like Christ-like. And like Christ, like his living, is obeying the law. That's right. That's of right. Moses. Yeah? That's right. Amen. So this is only for the 12 lost tribes of Hebrew. Mm -hmm. Just like he saved us out of the land of Egypt and we disobeyed, he handed us back into the hand of the wicked. Back in slavery in the hand of Esau. Wow. The hand of Esau right here in America. You slaves and descendants from the slaves is off these ships. You have to wake up and see. Alright. Esau, okay. Thank you. Let's go. Let's go. Well, that's all I have to say, you see? Yep. That's the brother named James, man. He's just gonna put out the truth about, you know, about Esau. And, you know, so um that's all I gotta be saying, man. And take your life more seriously, man. So I gotta be out. Y'all be cool, man. Peace. I wanna hear I'm